Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to enable port mirroring or span a port in Cisco Meraki. Uh, the uh, configuration is super simple, but if you come from the uh, command line or if you come from different vendors, you may have um, maybe trouble finding the way to do that. So um, that's what I want to show you right here. The first thing you are going to do is uh, you would go to your switch port section. Uh, as you can see, I have a test environment right here that I do a lot of my testing. And the um, device that I want to capture the traffic from is on port number three on my Meragi MX switch. So I just select port number three then I click on mirror option and then I have to select the destination port that I want to forward the traffic to and that's going to be the uh, where I'll have the device uh, in this case running the packet capture software um, I'm using uh, Wireshark for this let me uh, pause this um, okay what's going on here okay let me just finish create a mirror i'm creating a mirror right now let me start the new capture so i'm gonna start my new capture in wireshark i'm gonna select my interface and the um, source ip address is 172.16.5.53 but as you can see i'm capturing a lot right i'm capturing my traffic and the traffic coming from there but if you want to concentrate on specific protocol traffic, just uh, type in a display filter in Wireshark. And this is it right here. So as you could see, I'm capturing the traffic from uh, 172.16.553. Uh, this is the destination. It's just a simple ICMP ping uh, packet. But as you can imagine, whatever traffic is traversing that interface, I'm capturing the traffic. It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to see everything in it because some of the traffic may be encrypted. But it just goes to show you how to enable uh, port mirroring in Meraki. One more thing you have to keep in mind though is that the, the device, if you're using a computer to do the analysis as I am, uh, that device is not going to be able to do anything else other than reading packet captures so you're not going to be able to use that to browse the web or do anything else it'll be for packet cache capturing during that process that you're running that so just keep that in mind so this is how you do cap packet capture in cisco meraki i hope it helps have a great day bye